Hey guys, welcome back to our tutorials on how to develop a Python graphical user interface using PySci2 and Qt Designer. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to convert the .ui file from Qt Designer into Python code and then how we can use that Python code. So first, we're going to open our .ui file. I just want to show you uh, where we left off. Let me close this. Okay, so this is where we left off last time. We made this template window. We made all the widgets and uh, we just checked that all our widgets line up with our object inspector and then we were ready to go. So we don't need to spend any more time on that. We can quit that. And we have our template.ui file. Now we want to convert it into Python code. Why do we want to do that? We want to do that so we can code the logic behind the application. So for example, what happens when I press save? Uh, right now nothing happens and that's because there's no code behind it but we're going to code that when you press save do so and so actions okay so in order to do this we need to first install a python package now you have two options you can either install pyqt uh, specifically pyqt5 or you can install pysci2 and now there are numerous articles on the web regarding the differences between the two uh, in these videos we're going to use Pi Psi 2 and that's because uh, Pi Psi 2 is more license friendly and I'll actually put an article in the description that explains the differences between the two but I would recommend using Pi Psi 2 just because it's better in terms of licensing okay so first thing you're gonna do is open your terminal and then type pip3 install Pi Psi 2 okay Okay, so I already have it installed, but uh, once yours is done installing, we're going to go to the folder where you saved the .ui file. So I've saved it in a folder on my desktop called template tutorials. So that's where we're going to go. So what you can do is type cd. Now if you know if you don't know what cd is, it means change directory. So we want to so currently, if you write right now print working directory, right now I'm in my home, okay? So I want to go to uh, my desktop uh, specifically under template tutorials so what you can do is type CD and then you can go to your file and then right click so come down all the way to copy okay and then hold the alt button now when you hold the alt button it's going to say copy the folder as path name that's good because we get the path and then you can come here command V paste it and it's going to go uh, okay, so we have an error here, and that's because uh, there's actually a space, okay, and you can't have spaces. So when you have spaces, you have to put them in quotation marks. So let's do that again. So I'm going to go back here, press the up arrow, and then I'm going to put quotation marks, okay? Okay, and now it should work. Cool, right? And so now it says we're under template tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to clear this now. Okay, so right now my terminal is located right here. Now I need to convert this .ui file into Python code. So once we've arrived at the folder that contains our .ui file, we're going to convert the UI file into our Python file using the UIC function. So what you're going to type is pi side 2 dash UIC okay and then you're going to type the file the template uh, the UI file name so template dot UI and then you're going to put a right arrow meaning we want to convert this file into whatever follows the right arrow so you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to call it template as well template dot py but make sure your extension is dot py so this should generate a dot py file into the same uh, folder so let's press enter and see cool so here we go we have a .py file, and so congratulations, you've converted your .ui file into Python code. So let's test this out. So I'm gonna actually open this in Sublime Text. Okay, let me bring that down. Okay. Okay, so here you can see uh, we have a Python code equivalent of our UI file, which is really nice because now we can work with this. By doing the interface on Qt Designer, we save time of not having to code all of this manually. So that's really nice. And even though this code may not seem too long, uh, when you make more complex user interfaces, it saves a lot more time. Another thing I want you to notice is here it says warning. 
all changes made in this file will be lost. So what that means is if I come here and I want to change this font into Arial, okay, I do that, okay. Now it will be set as Arial. So when you open the user interface, it will be set as Arial. But let's say you go back to Qt Designer and then you play around with some other things and maybe you add another button, You maybe you remember that, hey, I wanted to change the color of something and you do all of that on Qt Designer. And then you go back through the process of converting the .ui file into our .py file, which is not really a process, it's just one line of code. You That's gonna overwrite the file and you're gonna lose this change that you made. So because of that, you never want to change this file. Meaning you never want to hard code anything into this file. This file should stay as is. The only way you should be changing this file is by going to Qt Designer and playing around with the appearance. You should never be coming here and doing anything. So if you remember that you forgot a button or you want to add a button, go back to Qt Designer by opening your .ui file and then add a button and then convert it into your Python code. You're never supposed to be changing this template.py file, okay? There is a way to interact with this .py file by making a subclass that's going to inherit from this. And we're going to go through this shortly.